everybody. This is Imran Jamil. Today I was, uh, it was a basic job that I was doing, putting this accessory, which seems unnecessary, but it is an important one because you see this radiator over here. There are two of them, uh, is exposed. And uh, I've only had like 150 to 200 miles, less than 200 miles. It's still, you know, catching up stuff. Before it gets damaged or something, it's better to put this radiator guard that I found. Um, it's a little bit weird, and that's why this one I've installed. I'll install that side and cover that for you. But over here, it had these pins, so you had to loosen the pins. Uh, initially, I thought that this was a screw, and I'm glad I didn't treat it like a screw. Uh, otherwise, it would have been broken. And then once you have taken out the screw right here, then you just slide this radiator guard apart from the, the gap that you would have between this plastic plate and then and then you know it goes in pretty nicely neatly uh, okay my light is giving up the battery so I hope you can see then these two um, I guess uh, clips will go in that slot and the radiator guard on both sides is a little bit different at least this one they are two-sided ones so Basically, you want to make sure that this aligns before you start putting the screw or do anything. And uh, it's, it's a little bit weird looking, but it sits in well, and I think it'll do the job. It's a simple installation, but uh, there are a couple of things uh, just to avoid breaking anything, uh, because these are plastic parts after all. So aligning it properly, do not put force. That's rule number one. If anything, is not going or sitting in the slot easily there's something wrong check it do not force it in that's the rule generally especially when you're working with uh, fragile parts and sections of, uh, of any automobile or motorcycle all right let's move on to the next one all right so first things first turn the wheel on that side place the light even though the battery is dead this light still has got enough light I can just quickly do the job. It should not take more than two, three, maybe five minutes if everything goes well. So here is the screw, I mean the pin that you see. So you do have to have a Torx um, and you loosen up a little bit and then pry it out gently. Next thing is this is the radio guard. So both sides on this one, sees, uh, I like this. It says 1300 GS over here. So it can go this way or it can go this way. But as you can see, if I put it the wrong way, it, the hole will not align. Plus, if you see that there is a whole frame over here, so you can't go over that. And this is what I was talking about. But once you have loosened up the screw, just be very gentle, just gently without scratching because it can touch multiple surfaces. And you don't want to you want to avoid it so over here these are the two slots and they just they come on top of this the, the, the frame goes underneath this so just make sure of that because if you don't do it it won't it won't just not only sit properly but it would not look good either all right so this is nicely done so far and honestly speaking another thing is i got this from Alibaba and it cost me about 17 18 bucks right go anywhere else and you'll pay at least double triple the price and don't don't even worry about the original OEM so it does the job it's a it's a pretty good material I think it's a metallic type it's not plastic so it'll hold on for bugs and some little components I don't know how effective this honeycomb pattern with this radius or uh, uh, size of opening would be. So these radiator guards come with a uh, uh, screw, a nut, and a washer. So obviously you put the washer, because it's not directed at you, it's directed uh, at people who may be not used to doing any kind of work. So just hold the uh, a bolt and again, uh, I mean hold the nut, and again, the smaller side goes, faces out because that's how the threads are. So the bigger side or a, a wider side or a, a wider mouth is where you would put it. And then what I do, I mean, I don't have the best of the tools right now, but I think this is sufficient. 
So again, the Torx bolt, and then you take this uh, wrench. We hold the nut with this on the other side, and then you can just start tightening it up. Either side, either side you can start tightening it up, and either side will work. I like the open-ended one because it's just more flexible than the closed one, which is on the other side. So once it's tightened enough, then I can just start using this and hold it with the wrench. See? So now, and again, don't over tight it, just enough that it stops moving easily, and you're done. All right, fellows. So this is what we did. Hopefully you can see it with this low light. This is the left side, this is the right side. Or this is the right side from your point of view, and this is the left side, <laughs> either way. Uh, it looks neat and clean. The other thing I did is a small accessory, but it comes in handy because the center, uh, the side stand is actually very thin, and it's, it's in most bikes. So just putting this accessory on softer surfaces, it just gives it a little bit more short footedness. So here it is, fellows. The accessories are very hard to come by for this motorcycle. And I'm very frustrated. I'm thinking about doing a video of the list of issues that I've had finding any accessories. Luckily, I found these two. But the main ones I'm looking for is the steel guard for this because it has the integrated signal and I just feel that for any reason you know this this is just plastic I, I wanna uh, I really wanna protect that engine guards is always on my first priority especially with this boxer engine I really wanna put at least the engine guard so I've ordered them by but it's gonna take about I think May 21st is the date that they've given me approximately Dealer doesn't have it. Dealer doesn't even know how, when will they, they get it. Looking for the panniers. So luckily panniers are available, uh, but the ones that they had are sold. And, and they can only find the gray and black ones. Now, it's, this is a white bike, so at least I want an insert somewhere matching the color. And these are expensive panniers, like 650 a piece, and then they're talking about some cylinder lock cylinder head lock or something which do, doesn't make sense when they're centrally locking so anyway maybe the centrally locking mechanism is not built in and that cylinder lock needs to be installed uh, I, I don't know what that is but hopefully you liked the video if you did please like share subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon we'll continue to bring you uh, the ownership experience of the brand new r1300 gs have a good one